Hi, good evening. I'm Richard Schaefer, the founder of Israeli Wine Direct. I'm real excited tonight to share some great news with you. After a lot of work and effort, we're ready to announce the opening for membership of our Proud to Pour Tour. And I want to talk to you for just a couple of minutes about what the Proud to Pour Tour is, how we came to call it that, and what the benefits of membership are for you. You know, wine was born in Israel. And over the last year or so, I figure I've poured Israeli wines for almost 3,000 Americans. And one of the things I'm more convinced of now than ever before is that Israeli wine has the potential to broaden people's understanding of what Israel is all about. The, wines that I, the wineries that I work with and whose wines I import are not commercial wineries. They're small, mostly family-owned wineries who are making handcrafted boutique uh, Israeli wines from all across Israel, from the Galilee and the Judean hills and the coastal plains of Israel as well. These aren't commercial wines. They're not what I call corporate wines. They're handcrafted wines. They're wines that taste like the place they're from, like great wines should. They're wines that let you experience a particular place, a particular hill, a particular region. And for me, there's no more interesting wine region in the world than the birthplace of wine, Israel and the Eastern Mediterranean, of which Israel is a part. At one of these events I mentioned where we poured Israeli wines, um, a, really amazing, a, a really amazing anecdote happened, and I want to share it with you. It was in Boston. We had about uh, 200 people turn out for an event, and uh, it was an event that I did in collaboration with Israel's consulate in Boston. And after the event, uh, the five winemakers and I had supper with the Consul General, Nadav Tamir, a great guy, a warm-hearted guy who has been very supportive of our efforts. We had supper in an Italian place after the event, and there were some uh, presidents of universities there and other special people. And after they'd gone, the Consul General sent his security team away, and there was a quiet moment, and he turned to the five winemakers that I was with, that were, that were with us, and he said to them, looking directly at them, thanks for making us proud to be Israeli. And it got quiet for a moment as everybody sort of let the message that Nadav had sent them sink in for a little bit. And that, that concept, that idea, that saying of being appropriately proud of something, not, not in an arrogant way, but appropriately and deservedly proud of something, of a job well done, really stuck with me. And that's how we came to call this tour, and I'll give you the details about it in a minute, this Proud to Pour tour, that's how its name was born. Because there's a lot of things in Israel to be proud about, and most people haven't been able to get behind the CNN curtain to experience those things. I think that Israeli wine is a great way for people to redefine how they experience Israel in a lot of ways. It's a very cultured place, it's a very civilized place, that's doing what I think is one of the most civilized things men and women can do, which is interact with the environment in a way to produce great wine. The Proud to Pour Tour is, is, takes your, 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 your uh, wine club and goes well, well beyond it. Um, it includes, at two different levels, uh, six shipments of boutique, handcrafted Israeli wines delivered straight to your door six times a year. But it goes well beyond that as well. It allows you, it provides you exclusive access to audio and video conferences with the leading boutique Israeli winemakers today in exclusive audio video conferences that will let you hear directly from winemakers, interact directly with them, and ask them questions and get answers yourself. So you'll be over time able to develop relationships uh, with them. It will include videos from me tasting the wines with my thoughts and commentaries on the wine. It'll, exclu it'll include exclusive members-only discounted prices to all the wines that you taste so that when you find a wine that you love, you can, you can get more of it for yourself and for your family and for your friends. You know, I spent a lot of time thinking about how to launch this wine club, this Proud to Pour tour, and I picked two wines that are in our portfolio that also just happen to be listed uh, by the most prominent Israeli food and wine critic, Daniel Rogov, as being among the top ten best wines that he tasted last year. And um, each of these wines will be included in, in the tour. 
So in Tour 1, which is valued at about $100 six times a year of Israeli wine and other Israeli goodies, this time it will mail in June, will include this wine. Margalit Special Reserve Cabernet Sauvignon 2006. Margalit is the first boutique winery in Israel founded in 1989, led now by the father-son team, ya, uh, Dr. Yair and Asaf Margalit. This is really Israel's cult wine. They don't do any irrigation of their vineyards. It's all about terroir, and it's all about translating a particular place into the bottle. And this will be the first wine. We're not starting with, you know, we're not starting with um, anything but the best of the best. And I'm proud of all the wines that are in our portfolio. And I want you to start with what the leading Israeli food and wine critic, Daniel Rogoff, says is one of the best wines of the entire year from Israel. So this is the Proud to Pour Level 1 tour wine that will come out in June. There's not a lot of wine this, wine of this vintage, this particular wine in the U.S. There's maybe 50 or 60 bottles left, so not, it's a very exclusive wine. In Proud to Pour Level 2, this will be the wine. Flam Winery. Golan Flam is the winemaker. He trained in Italy. Golan's father was uh, the chief winemaker at Carmel. And Golan trained in Italy and came back, has a beautiful estate winery uh, in Bet Shemesh, out, uh, not too far from Jerusalem in the Judean hills. And he's producing wines that are inspired by the Mediterranean, inspired by the rustic um, super Tuscans of Italy. And uh, this is also a Cabernet Sauvignon named again by, by Rogov as one of the top ten Israeli wines of the entire year. And it's in our portfolio, and it'll be in the Level 2 Proud to Pour Tour. Look, I'm really excited about this. I hope you can tell that. Another great thing to know about the Proud to Pour Tours is that you can gift them to your friends, your family, and your colleagues, and your customers. It's a great way to introduce people into what Israel is all about. The last thing I'll say to you that's exciting to me about the Proud to Pour Tour is that everybody who's a tour member gets invited to our first Proud to Pour Tour, our real live Israeli wine tour in Israel this October, where we'll be um, treating you to tours and tastings and meals um, and great hotel stays in the wine route that we're developing in Israel among not only the boutique wineries, but some of the large commercial wineries too. So you can really experience the reemergence and the rebirth of what I call the original wine world, the first world of wine, um, live and in person. So look, I'm very excited about this. I have a lot of passion about this. Um, our wine tours are a way for you to reconnect with the people and the place that is Israel. And we think there's no other great way to do that. There's no better way to do that than through great handcrafted wines from family-owned wineries all across Israel. You guys have a great night. Visit us at IsraeliWineDirect.com. There's a link at the top that says join a club. If you click there, if you click there, IsraeliWineDirect.com, and then join a club, you'll hear, you'll be able to read and experience all the details of our Proud to Pour tour. Have a great day. Thanks for talking to me. Thanks for listening, and uh, be well. I'll be in touch soon. Bye-bye.